What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about the summer slowdown. Now I'm already seeing people in my comment section asking me if it's slow in my area and maybe to give them tips on how to get around it being slow and still make money. So that's what we're gonna talk about in today's video while I try to get some orders it has started to get slow here in my area and what I have been doing is mainly working the lunch rush and the dinner rush now only those hours we know that it already gets slow during the, the middle of the day like between breakfast and lunch between lunch and dinner so like from 1 30 to 4 it starts slowing down because not many people are ordering food so I don't deliver during those times so my advice to you is to only deliver during the peak hours which for me is 11 to 1 would be the lunch rush and then the dinner I come out about 4 o'clock 4 would be the earliest that I come out till whenever because I noticed that whether it's 7 or 8 or 8.30, like I'm still consistently getting orders and I don't deliver after dark. But if you do, I think you could deliver till probably 10.30 and still be consistently getting orders and it won't be getting slow just yet. But this does also depend on your area. I'm going to talk about the Solo app once more because they have a new feature on their app. Solo has a new Marketplace Insights tool and by adding the city you're working in and the platform app that you want to work on, it will show you the best days and the busiest times in your area for you to work. Now I am partnered with Solo and y'all know I am obsessed with the Solo app and all the perks that they have to offer, such as their automatic mileage tracker, their tax estimations throughout the year, and their guaranteed earnings, which I talk about multiple times here on my channel. You could download the Solo app with my link below and it will start your account out with $10 and the amount that you see that is offered a guaranteed offer in your area if you don't make that hourly pay the solo app will pay you the difference there is a risk-free subscription that they offer with more perks and there's more information when you download the app make sure to link your gig apps they use so many gig apps so link at least one and then your Venmo or their your PayPal because that's how they're going to pay you. And when you activate the $10 bonus, it will be paid out the following Tuesday. I just got an order up here at the Jersey Mike's. It was $8 two point something miles. So we're going to go pick it up. Yeah, okay, Alright, I'm putting it into my hot bag. It's two miles away and it's a leave at door and the address looks like a house. So another thing that I recommend is not being so picky with the orders that you take. During the slow times, now it it's not that there's less orders, it's that there's more drivers in your area. So then you have to be a little bit less picky with your mile per pay ratio and probably taking a couple orders with just a little higher mileage instead of just sitting there waiting on orders. I am back in a my busy area I sit at. Normally I get an order before I make it back to the plaza area, but lately, okay, $3, seven miles, I have to decline that one. But lately I have been noticing even during lunch rush is that I make it back and I wait a few minutes. Here in Florida we have 
a week and a half left of school and then it's the summer break so that usually indicates when the summer slowdown starts let's see what doordash is sending me seven dollars seven miles i'm going to decline that one and it was also a shopping pay a shop and pay order so that's even more work on top of the not a good ratio the other thing i wanted to talk about is is it worth traveling to another city to deliver now if your area is really really slow when it normally is busy i do suggest to maybe go a little further into on like the next zone i had somebody messaging me on my instagram dms asking me because when he started a month and a half ago he started and he was banking he was easily making over 200 dollars a day and now he's saying that he's like barely making a hundred and he hasn't changed anything so that definitely indicates that his area is already seeing the slowdown, which when I say slowdown, I don't just mean nine miles. It's mainly more of a saturation. There's more drivers out. The economy is so rough right now when it comes to inflation and everything going up and people are trying to have any side hustle money that they can and food delivery is one of them i've been doing these food delivery apps for four years now this month puts me at my fourth year oh my gosh two dollars decline doordash sent me nine miles i'm declining that one too so you see me over here declining all these orders, but they are absolutely horrible. I cannot justify that. This one I can. It's just wings. That's actually Chili's. That is actually Chili's ghost kitchen. So a Chili's order for 3.5 miles, 8.50. I will accept that one. So I'm gonna go turn my, my Uber Eats off head west and east brandon boulevard we're gonna head to chili's i personally travel from the tampa area to the brandon area just for video purposes i don't want to film or pick up from my local restaurant so i already travel i'd say 10 to 15 minutes away from my area i could easily turn the app on in Tampa and then some days when I don't film I do deliver closer to my area are you giving me an add-on four dollars for an additional oh, that's at a different restaurant try again I do commute I call it commute because I I just don't want to deliver in my area now don't go driving too far to where your your gas on your commute is eating up your profits but definitely try some more areas so normally at this location I don't wait in the car because I will be waiting here for so long I just go inside and get my order but the app is showing that it says to wait in the car specifically and it popped up asking what number curbside spot I'm in so I put the number we're gonna wait it is one minute past the pickup time so i'm gonna give it a few minutes and then i'm gonna go inside it also shows the make and model of my car and it says the merchant will look for this vehicle so i don't know if that's because it's their ghost kitchen that makes more sense because when i do the chilies pickup i don't see this sitting here and that's why I don't wait when the apps tell me to wait in the spot they hand it to me in a medical center so I will not be filming the drop-off I'm actually gonna take this off because I don't want any medical people 
thinking I'm recording, so it is three miles away. Let's go drop it off. All right, that was at a medical place. I have delivered to before I actually turned a turn um, sooner than I was supposed to, so I had to walk a little bit over there. It was easier to walk than to like go back out. I have just a little bit before I got to head to my daughter's school and my side of town. So I'm gonna leave you guys here. I'm gonna try to get one more order, maybe taking me into my direction. One last thing I should definitely add is if you're using one app, now is the time to get on other platforms. As you've seen, I'm using Uber Eats and DoorDash today. And when one is slow, the other one will be sending me good orders. So multi-apping is definitely the way to go when it comes to beating the summer slowdown. If you have any tips for other drivers, please leave them down below in the comment section. If you have any questions, let me know. I love chatting with you guys down there. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. S -s 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 subscribe. What was that? Consider hitting subscribe before you go. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.